2016 is almost coming to a close. It's pretty much here. We're, we're done with 2016. All the movies that were really going to come out have come out. And so we're going to give you our top five movies that we've actually seen this year. That's a caveat to this one, because um, I haven't seen the likes of Rogue One yet. So, uh, yeah, we're only going to do the top five we've seen. And Brendan doesn't watch any movies at all. So his might be from like 1965, but he just saw it this year. You never know, because Brendan just doesn't watch things. Yeah, Brian gets on me about this all the time, but I'm trying to catch up. I'm just, you know, behind you guys. So, yeah. so, so right, a couple decades, my, a couple decades list, back, you know, that's all right. In fact, that might be the case. So, my list are the the top five things that I did see for the first time this year. All right. Well, time. so let's start off with that, Brennan. So let's see. Give us your top five things that you've seen for the first time this year. Go ahead and run us down. All right. So, for your helpful pleasure so the top five my top five movies of this pleasure. year at number five okay. we have number five big trouble in little china which i this wow. is the first so i this really decades, was decades back that is the oldest one on this list okay a great movie i mean that's where raiden gets his look from so i'm glad you finally saw it i'm yeah, you know, that's, I, like, that's about as old as I am. That movie is like the, that's... the main reason I even saw it was because another YouTube channel had been bringing it up um, constantly as one of the, one of these other podcasters' favorite movies, and I saw it on Netflix. I was like, "All right, uh, I got some time." So the only it's way not a very long watch movie. Stuff is to have another channel do it. Not like, when I'm like, no, "Hey, Brendan, watch this for the ch- our channel." No, when they another talked about it a lot, any... like for months, it okay. came up once in a while, and then I saw it while I was had nothing else to do. And it was short enough that I was like, all right, I'll, I'll watch it. And uh, it was a good time. Fair enough. All right. all right. Well, what's your number four? Number four, Dark and Stormy Nights, which. Don't is, even know what that is. Yeah, it's a movie by the same people that did another movie most people probably don't know about, but uh, called Lost Skeleton of Cadaver. Cadaver. Oh, that's not funny then. Nope. Don't like it anymore. <laughs> which I've are seen that essentially and I parodies don't like it. of, uh, uh, this of old B movies. I recommend watch any of those movies it will I, not I, recommend it. i saw that Ken's channel fact, recommendations i saw that while i was out with our uh, one of our brothers our brother and we went through pretty much all the movies that 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 group has made i thought that was the the best of them and it was pretty funny i don't know dark and sword night was not a good. channel recommendation let's keep moving <laughs> right. you're disappointing me with that one number three let's go to number three number three we're going to get a little bit i don't know artsy independent tier even though dark and sword night is kind of like that uh with relatively free which uh, is kind of a short one available. You can you can watch it on Vimeo. That's where I watched it. Um, it's about a journalist getting out of prison for a case where he had linked other people to uh, some. He had linked people to some leaked content that contained a lot of information while he was uh, engaged in this like activist uh, journalism event whatever but it, it's about him talk uh, how he got in there and him now coming out of prison after being in there for four years and, and things like that it's mm. it's interesting okay. um gotcha. all right number number two. and that, that one was from this year by the way though. that, that oh that hey one. there, <laughs> there you, you go. go hey hey okay so go ahead hit us with number two number two serenity which I finally watched this year along with uh, another show. Only my like second or third favorite movie of all time. And you can't tell me I haven't talked about Firefly and Serenity a billion times. And that's why I, I did. I, and I did finally watch those, Brian. So don't say that I, I don't watch these. I, I watched that. You take a, Again, that came out in like 2003 or something, man. Yeah, I know. And everyone <laughs> recommends it all the time. I, I always meant to get around to it. it I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I got into it this year. And it was great. Yes. It was amazing. That's why I yes, thought my it's top. An amazing movie. If you haven't seen Serenity or Firefly, go out, watch Firefly, and then hit Serenity up right after that. Or hell, I didn't even see Firefly when I saw Serenity. And I was like, man, this is amazing. And then somebody's like, yeah, that's off of that TV show. I was like, oh, I got to go see that. So, yeah, it's awesome. So okay. Just watch. Okay. But, Britton, what is your number one? My number one is Should have been from- Serenity, by the way. Uh, there, there's special sentimental reasons for this one, but Kung Fu Panda Three. Now you okay. see, look yeah, at all you of saw these. Saw that with your boys, right? Yeah, this was the first movie I ever saw with my children uh, as in a family the in the movie theater. This is the first one we ever went yeah. and did an, uh, a family outing to the movie mm-hmm. theater. Mm-hmm. We went and saw this, and I generally like this movie. I like the series. I was watching. I watched 
I mean, the first Kung Fu Panda movie came out, and I, you know, was old enough to drive. Uh, so I watched it not because it was a kids' movie that I was grew up with. I loved it though. Because anyway. you thought it was going to be good. No, actually, I, I originally watched it because I had nothing better to do while waiting for uh, our sister to watch some other movie with her friends at a movie theater, and it just happened to be on at the same time. <laughs> but I liked it, and I liked the second one, and the third one ha- was was very good. It it tied up okay. uh, a lot of things and combined things well, and it, it, was, it was a good time. So right. that's well, then my that's a 2016 one too, isn't it? That came yes, out it this is. Year. It came out in January so, of this year. Two. Two 2016 movies Brendan has there. Two. Not yes. one, but two. I'm on a roll this year. Like <laughs> there you go. He, he's watching things up a storm. But let's go into my 2016 top five list of movies. And we'll start off with number five being Batman the Killing Joke. Now, that is an animated movie coming out of the DC animated universe, which they're doing spectacular things. They have a ton of really cool ones like Son of Batman, Justice League War, Justice League Another One. And there's a whole bunch of them. If you haven't checked out what the DC Animated Universe is pumping out, go ahead and check it out. This has Mark Hamill coming back as the Joker, Kevin Conroe as Batman, so all the classic voices are there, and it's one of the best Batman stories out there. So yeah. if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check I, it out. I've heard arguably the the DC Animated um, Division has been doing uh, better and more like adult content than oh, yeah. their movie. This was a rated R movie. This yeah. was a rated R movie. Yeah, a, so that they won't they won't they'll put their movies at max PG thirteen. They put the animated one to rated R. So trust me, it's worth watching. Go but, out and, and check and it out. And very good. Yeah. So. Yeah. So my number four was actually the live action remake of Jungle Book. Yeah, it just brought back nostalgia. They did it right. They had a great character to play Mowgli. It just seemed like all the animals' voices fit. Everybody they just brought back Jungle Book in live action. They did it right. They did it right. They brought back my childhood fav, one of my childhood favorites, uh, and it was still really cool. The, the way they incorporated the songs was awesome. So I really thoroughly enjoyed uh, the remake of the Jungle Book. So check that out if you haven't. Uh, and now let's move on to number three. And some people might say that this should be higher on my list, but no, it's Deadpool. I love Deadpool. It was a great movie, and so it's number three though, just because I think the two movies in front of it, just. <laughs> I'd say a notch above. Uh, they they took it out of just the. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love a cool comedy action flick, and that's what Deadpool gave you, and they gave it to you perfectly. It's just I wanted a little more. I like a little more substance out of some of my superheroes. I, I would say I, too. I, I think Dead, too. Deadpool might be the the movie that we've talked about the most this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like we talked about Man, the rumors leading running up, up to it. it. Or really up year. to it, we talked about it a yeah. ton. So. And we talked about it afterwards. You really like that movie, so. But, but it is well, number you'll, three. You'll number and, three is big. So. Yeah, it is number three. Yeah, it's top five. You know, I've watched uh, probably a dozen or so plus movies this year, new movies. So probably maybe not that. Many. I've watched a bunch, though. So. Um, but then you'll see the number two and number one. Uh, number two, we're going with Doctor Strange. How can I turn my back on my boy Benedict Cumberbatch, becoming one of the cooler superheroes in the Marvel Universe. Um, and they, they really did it. They took a different tone to it. Uh, texturally, it felt different. Um, it was more psychedelic than some of the other things. And so they took you a different direction than you've seen a lot of the superhero movies. So uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And without further ado, yes, it is a superhero movie. <laughs> and my top four of my top five are superhero movies. Who can tell if I like superhero movies? Um, but well, that's most of the movies that movie, come out now. So <laughs> It's true. I mean, to be fair, that is most of the movies that come out. But my number one movie was Captain America 3, Civil War, even though it really should have just been called Avengers 4, 3, sorry. Avengers 3, because that's what it was. But that, again, it hit all the marks. It brought you a cool underlying story about, you know, who who watches the Watchers, you know, that type of thing, you know. And, and But it did it well, and the comedy was great in it, just – blended so many different characters and none of them felt like they got washed out which is a remarkable thing to do with as many characters as they were bringing into this movie and i just think you know there's a reason it was number one in the box office this year because it was one of the best now there's all those artsy movies like la la land and, and loving i heard was really good I just, i'm not going to go to a movie theater to see those you know that's what i'm that's why these are my top five because i will go to a movie theater to see these even though batman killing joke i didn't see it in theaters but the other ones I'll go to a movie theater to see, to get that experience. The other ones I can watch at home and be thrilled that way. Yeah, and I actually saw some of Civil War uh, just the other day while I was at your house, too. So yeah. it was, it was pretty fun. Now, so. uh, yeah. I, I did note 
some some differences from the comic version, but it was it was a fun time. So there's it's not, don't compare it to yeah, the comic they're, version. Yeah, there it's obvious that they weren't going for name that. alone. That, that that's all they took. Yeah, name alone. So, a but little, that was our yeah. both of our top five lists. Mine being the current list. Brendan's just being what he's seen this year. <laughs> uh, so hit us up. Let us know what you think. Do you agree with our list? Um, if you could get a top five movies of all time, just go ahead and hit us up with some of those, or just your top five movies of 2016. Comments below of course at where's my face on twitter google plus and facebook oh he's good ways of getting hold of us <laughs>